Well, my 80 series Land Cruisers had its day. Rusty and busted paints flicking away. The engine's coughing more smoke than a train. Ain't sure this old hunk will run again. Seats torn to tatters, duct tape holding it tight I spend more on fixing it than I like to write Tires falling while they dog chew the dash It's a miracle it still guzzles that gas Seats torn to tatters, duct tape holding it tight I spend more on fixing it than I like to write Tires falling while they dog chew the dash It's a miracle it still guzzles that gas It's a broken, busted, completely fucked up piece of shit but I'd be driving nothing else Even if I got grip through mud miles I've seen better years The soul and cruisers earned every tip So this boring balloon's challenging my poor old memory Ooh, A round one Does that fit that? No Well that looks promising <laughs> okay, that's gonna go in there. So that's starting to give me some idea. So I do actually have the loom sort of around the right way. Started up in the morning with a stutter and groan. Hitting potholes feels like breaking a bone. Windshields cracked, wipers long gone. Still can't let go. This bomb's too strong. Radio's busted. Put the battery. See if there's any smoke comes out of this thing. Uh, I'm nervous. Just having a look, see if there's anything obvious that I've done wrong. Ignition's off. Here we go. Oh, good smoke. Mm. Okay, something's hooked up wrong. Well, I'll be stuffed. The blue smoke escaped. That was a major rookie fucker. Oh dear. Well, so it seems now that um, I've got no ignition power coming out of the ECU. Power, no, not even power going to the ECU at the moment, so that's a problem. Um, I've replaced and checked everything it could possibly be other than the engine management wiring loom itself. Well, now I've just got to pull that out, pull it apart. Pretty sure I'm going to find some fried wires in there. Well, that's where the smoke's going to have escaped from. So all of this needs to come off. I've half pulled it apart. I've just got to undo it, pull it out. I'm not going to try and describe every step I take here now. I'm just going to do a time lapse and pull it all apart. Once you get the um, once you get the wiring loom out, we'll, uh, see what's the go there. <laughs> Now I've got the uh, engine management harness out. Um, I did find a couple of things, and we'll give you a quick look here. It's an OBD1 port, it sits on the firewall. Uh, what I did find before I stripped the, um, the sheath of it, I found that these three terminals were going to ground. There should only be one of these terminals going to ground, and that's that one. Both of these two here were also going to ground and uh, once I stripped the 
external sheets off, that all went away. I also found, and I've started repairing this, this particular wire here, or if we can get a focus on that. The insulation was pretty in pretty bad condition. So all I've done is I've just slipped a, um, a length of, of heat shrink over it. And I'm just going to re-solder that joint there. A bit more heat shrink over the top of that. Hopefully that's our problem. There, oh, there's another one here. It's got some burnt marks in it. It's probably going to short out. I probably need to cover that as well. People are probably going to go, ooh, 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 you shouldn't be doing it like that, but uh, tough. That's why I'm doing it. If it doesn't work, it's only me that's going to fuck up. Sitting 